Good morning. So it has been, oops, sorry. It has been a minute since I've been able to um, just draw and record. So I wanted to do a draw and sketch or, or a sketch and chat or whatever you call it. Um, or whatever I call it. <laughs> but I wanted to do something really quick, something that I haven't done <clears throat> in a while. And I was trying to think if I wanted to do it in my sketchbook or if I actually wanted to do it from one a canvas. But I think I'm going to stick with my sketchbook because that's going to be easier. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking here lately and uh, my mind is just full, guys, full of just thoughts and different things. So I figured I'd do a quick sketch in uh, chat. Um, but I thought that I was looking through Pinterest to find some kind of drawing prompt. And this is a picture that kind of came up for me. And what I love about it, one, is simple and it's easy, but then I love that that her hair, you know, is, is just uh, open canvas for me to do other things. And so I'm going to use this as a reference picture, but of course put my own spin and twist on it. And while I do that, I'm going to just kind of chat with you guys a little bit um, about me and what's been going on with me, what I've been involved in, you know, what's been, what's been up with me. How about that? So I'm going to just talk and try to forget that I'm on camera <laughs> while I'm drawing because that's always, uh, that's never really easy for me to draw and, uh, you know, be on camera or to draw on camera rather. So we're going to try to figure that out. But in the meantime, um, so I wanted to talk about, of course, my favorite topic, just, you know, talking about the faith and how we're, um, you know, in this, in this modern day, how we're, you know, how we're doing, just kind of talk about how we're doing with regards to the faith and, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going to talk about. So I'm trying to figure out where to even start. This is my sketchbook, guys. So this is when I have some free time. I just kind of come in here and, you know, just doodle, doodle it up a little bit. I'm going to start on that page. And I have my handy-dandy sketching pencils. Or sketch pencil in front of me. Put all this stuff there. And I'm sure Babe is going to call and interrupt because he's actually at... Um, Actually, let me do this. Let me save this picture as a model reference picture. Yeah, because that way I won't lose it. And, uh, yeah, that way I won't lose it. And I'm actually going to download it on my, my computer as well, or my tablet as well. So let me see if I can find it. Because if I do it on Pinterest, then sometimes my tablet will kind of go low. There we go. And then when I do it in my computer, I can kind of see um, if I need to see different variations or variances. So anyway, so I'm all getting getting all geared up for 2019. Um, I'm actually starting a really exciting new chapter in my life. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I am going to be starting graduates or not graduate school, um, a Ph.D. program. And so I am incredibly excited about it. Um, it is a PhD in humanities. Um, the focus is going to be, I'm still debating whether it's going to be um, a focus in philosophy or a focus in uh, literature um, or even a focus in just general humanities, which is an, you know, uh, um, accumulation of all of those or, yeah, which includes all of those. Um, like I said, this is a real simple sketch. I haven't had a chance to sketch, guys, in, um, wow, in so long. It feels like, anyway. And my hand, I can feel, see that little curve? That didn't feel good. Um, so, yeah, um, this PhD program, I think it's going to be exciting. And I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to, um, I think I made her too big. Because the point of it was really her hair and being able to have fun with her hair. So I think I made her too big. So instead of erasing and starting over, because I'm probably going to use that silhouette for something else, I'm just going to change pages and I'm going to start, I think I'll start with her facial features first and then that will help to determine everything else. So we'll start with her ear. And we know that there's hair there. And then we'll build out all this space is going to be all for her hair. And so then from there, we'll go into her other features. How about that? And you guys know I love to do an afro and not necessarily uh, just hair. 
But this is a side uh, silhouette, which is sometimes a little more difficult, but not impossible. So when I do my side silhouettes, I have I, I kind of keep it in a couple of keep it a couple of ways. I think the main point for me is always the nose and the shape of the nose and where the nose starts and ends and all that wonderful stuff. But then the nose in relation to the lips and her lips are like really big, which I love. But I definitely don't want to. And I'm actually using a mechanical pencil, a graphite pencil, uh, number three, if you guys care. And hopefully you guys can see. It's, sometimes it's hard to see the pencil drawing when you're doing it. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see that. And I can't see if you guys can see, so I'm just hoping that you guys can see. But in any case, I'll be starting this um, PhD program, and I'm incredibly excited about it. What I love most about it is the fact that I am going to, um, one, is, 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 is new studies. So that's exciting, you know, doing something new, studying something new, learning something new. That is incredibly exciting to me. Um, so that's the first thing that really excites me about this. Um, and then I guess the next thing is just that it's a new, it's another chapter in my life. It's something, it's my next, you know. Um, and so I'm really excited about it. One of the things I was telling Dave and, you know, some of my other uh, friends. In fact, I need to recall one of my friends and I left him a message but I haven't heard back. Um, but one of the things I've been telling Dave and some of my, you know, some of my confidants is that, uh, you know, I think with this new program, not even I think, I know with this new program, like my time is really going to be demanding. I was talking with another uh, friend who has a PhD. Well, he's not a friend, he's a co-worker, but he has a PhD and he was like, yeah, it's like you would need, he said he took a pause. He's like, because you easily need like 20 extra hours a week. Now, I don't know if that was 20 hours on top of the however many we get or 20 hours include you know 20 hours within the time that we get I'm assuming he's just saying 20 extra hours to really dedicate to it which is fair um so I can definitely see that and see that that is that would be a requirement um so I'm like yeah I'm all for it I'm here for it like that doesn't that doesn't uh scare me you know the fact that it's going to take time I always say time is going to happen whether you're doing something with it or not right um, so that doesn't scare me that it's going to take time. I, in fact, it excites me that I will have something else to focus my time and my attention on and dedicate my time to. So that, that excites me more than anything. Um, so we shall see. We shall see what it, uh, what it entails, what, um, what's going to be required of me. Um, and that's going to be exciting. So if you guys can see this picture, hopefully you can, or at least start seeing like the image kind of what I'm doing um, right now I'm just kind of one of the things I know that I'll probably have to keep going back to <laughs> is that nose um, and that's fine but then I have to figure out like her eyebrows what is she doing with her eyebrows and I just kind of and right now I'm drawing really chunky guys and I think it's because I'm on camera and I can't usually I don't draw sitting up so that might be the first p issue um, is that I just typically don't draw sitting up um, and then the second issue is I don't draw on camera, so that's another thing that kind of uh, bugs me out sometimes when I'm trying to, or hinders me sometimes when I'm trying to draw. Um, so yeah, so this is, it's always fun to just try to capture what I'm trying to capture on camera because it's not that easy for me. Um, and so when it's, when it's, when I'm having a hard time drawing, I just kind of do a lot of, uh, what's the word? Like, I think I draw more, uh, chunky or square or I don't know the right word. Like my shapes of drawing. It's more like a sketch where I'm not just like drawing. Um, and I don't know why. And there's a difference because when I'm drawing, my hand is a lot looser. When I'm sketching, it's more firm. Um. So I think um, once I draw it and I feel like I'm confident with the dimensions, which I'm kind of not right now, um, or it can be, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but when I feel like I'm confident with the lines that I've made, 
and I'm not sure that I am. Um, I can always go back in and try to re, not re-sketch, but just, so then I'll come in with my, where did I put my, oh, my, um, what is it called? My Sharpie, which has been one of my favorite drawing tools right now. What I love about it, and I didn't even realize, is that the Sharpie, like when I start painting and putting other mixed media on top of it, even if I'm using watercolors with it, it doesn't run. So that is a huge plus. So um, the Sharpie has quickly become my new best companion, my new best uh, drawing companion. And I think I love them. Let me see. And I usually have Sharpies everywhere, but of course, now that I'm looking for one, I can't seem to put my eye on one. I can't seem to find one. But let me see. I'll keep talking while I'm while I'm looking wireless walls. <laughs> I'm looking through my uh, pens and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go. I think I left them in my other pencil case, which is odd. Because why would I do that? Oop, boop, I think I got one. Bam, I got one. Alrighty, so hopefully this one works. But I'm just taking a little narrow Sharpie. And now I'm going to kind of go to the lines that I've drawn and commit to those lines. Which seems easy, but it's kind of tough because of my angle. When I'm drawing, guys, I usually have like my knees up, like to my chest. <laughs> You see, I have my knees up to my chest, my book on my lap, and I draw like that. And of course, I get to turn my book however I want to turn it. So this is one of the main reasons why I don't draw on camera, because it's, it's just tough for me. It's hard for me to get my... It's, hard, it's just not as comfortable for me. How about that? So... It's just a little... Just a little tough. And then when I start going in with my my Sharpie, for example, um, you know, now I'm committed, right? <laughs> I have to commit to the lines that I've created. Um, I think I kind of like her. I'm going to commit to the face and the structure of the face. Um, yeah, I'm going to commit to that. I'm going to commit to the lips that I've created for her. Um... Commit to that chin. There we go. I'll commit to her brows. I think they're pretty good brows. I'll commit to those. And like I said, when I'm drawing, um, it just feels very, uh, very chunky. I don't even know. I can't commit to her eyes yet because I'm not, I'm not convinced about the eyes, guys. Um, but I will commit to her, and I, I can't even commit to her ear. I can, can commit to her hair, but I'm not going to just yet. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil and kind of play around with her ear a little bit. Um, because I think I want her ears, to, I don't want her ears to be so, um, so obvious. If that's the right word. So I'm thinking like her hair is going to be such, she's like, she's going to have this intense fro. So that some of her ear is going to be covered. Um, but when I draw her ear, I want to make sure that it is the shape of the ear that I want. Like I, I'd start off with just like a curved ear, but I don't know if that's the shape of the ear that I want. So in that, now you have to start drawing the interior parts of the ear so that you can know that it's an ear. Otherwise, you're going to be like, what is that? That you are, what is that on the side of her head? And I'm going to be like, it's her ear. You're going to say it doesn't look like an ear. I don't know what that is. I think I can. I don't know if I can commit to that. I can commit to it. I can commit to it. I think I can. I'm going to. Because I have to. Not that I have to, but I'm going to. There's her ear. Here's her chicone part of her ear. You know, here's her lobe. If I want to give her an earring, boom. Um, and then I'm going to commit to the hair around her ear. 
And that really is just the shape of her, her fro. Which I love. I like it. I like it a lot. And the only thing I'm not quite committed to as of yet is her eyes, guys. So I may even go off camera to do her eyes because I feel like I need to be at the angle. And I can't do that. So this is what I say when I commit that I can go in any race and a Sharpie doesn't smear anything. Love it. Um, I absolutely love that. Oops. I erased her nose. There we go. And um, I just got to figure her eyes out. Once I get her eyes, then I think we can start coloring her or painting her or whatever I want to do with her. So this was like a real quick sketch. And I'm glad I did a quick one because I didn't want to be on camera all day. But I did want to share with you guys. Um, so some of the things I'm doing in 2019, like I said, I'll be starting my PhD program, which is incredibly exciting. Um, but I also... Um, we'll be scaling back on some things. I have my conference in March. I'm looking, I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking forward to it if I'm being honest. Um, I haven't really, I, like I started planning it, um, but then I took a step back. Um, and so now, you know, it's a matter of kind of getting back into planning it. Um, and, and I'll probably start that again, I think, on the other side of the new year. I think right now I'm just in, uh, trying to roll into, um, roll into, um, vacation mode or holiday mode so with this I just need to figure out what I want her eyes to do so I'll draw this line right here right I definitely want her eyes open but I gotta figure out what is she doing what are what are her eyes doing and so I'm just going to play around with it a little bit Guys, what is her eyes doing? That's a fair question, right? What are you looking at, lady? And then, of course, she has to have some amazing eyebrow or eyelashes. Like, why not? And when I do her eyes, it's funny. Um, like I said, especially when I'm drawing chunky. My son, he was like, oh, you do eyes just like I do. And I don't know if you guys know, but my son is an amazing artist. Um... So my, my, my dad, I think he, I don't know if my grandparents were artists or if which one, if either. Um, but my dad, for me, he kind of kicked off the artistry for me. Like, my dad is an amazing artist. My brother, my sister, at least one of my sisters can draw. I'm not sure about my oldest sister, but um, my older sister, Angela, she can draw. And my brother, uh E, who we call Elijah, he can draw as well. Um, so I'm not committed to her eyes yet, guys. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like I want her eyes to do something, something more than what it's doing. Yeah. So I'm not gonna commit to the eyes. You guys can see what I have right now, just as a place. I don't know. Sometimes I gotta step back and maybe look at it through the, with the camera's lens. Yeah, I'm not convinced with the eyes, y'all. I'm not convinced with the eyes, y'all. This is that commitment, man. And then with the Sharpie, too, you don't want to linger on a page too long. Because I think it does. It looks like it kind of smeared in there a little bit. Um, I guess I can commit to her eyes. So I'm going to have to turn this a little bit, guys. Hopefully it doesn't take it too much out of... You guys' view. But I have to do what I have to do. Let's see, let's see. Alrighty. See that commitment, guys? see it <laughs> um, I don't know all right it's done 
is done. Those are eyes. There you go. There you have it. Um, it ain't no turning back. Boom. Not a fan, but hey. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Nope, that's it. It's done. It's finished. No going back. No turning back. No going back. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. Here to declare to you my past is over in you. I used to love that song. I actually still love that song. I think I played that song at Girlfriend Therapy Conference, the first annual Girlfriend Therapy Conference. <clears throat> I think I played that song. <clears throat> So, that is my girl. Hopefully you guys can see her. Hopefully she looks like something to you. And typically I would go in um, because I am, um, oh, I did bring my art pencils or my pens. Where did I put them? Um, typically I would go in and try to, I think, write or I don't know. I want to scribble, do some scribble art or if I want to draw her or not really sure what I want to do with her. Um, so what I will do, just for the sake of the camera, and just for the sake of you guys, since I got your attention, actually here are my pens. So these are my scribble pens. So I'll draw with those probably in a little bit. Um, I'll probably use that to, to journal in her hair because that's what I really wanted to do. But in the meantime and in between time, I think I'm going to use my, maybe my distress crayons to create a really cool background. Um, so I just want to pick the color that I want to pick. And I think I want to go with a, I don't know if I want to go with this pink or this like pinky red-ish color. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm going to see which one looks, because I can use both really. And the interesting thing about the Distress Crayons is I don't know how they're going to work on this paper, so maybe I won't use those. You think I would have tried it somewhere else before I tried it on my paper, but I didn't. So what can I do since I've already laid that down? This is the fun part when I haven't thought about what I'm trying to do and I just start doing stuff. Because I could go with just like a colored pencil, but I really don't want to do that. I want something mixed media like. So let me grab my, my pencil case. And I do have some gelatos. I don't know if they do good on paper. I guess we can test it out and see. I know I'm going to do a pink background. And I'm not making this a thing. Like, I'm not trying to make this a whole, a whole thing. Like, so we're just going to go with whatever we go with. Put that back over there. And we're going to make it work. And that's that. So you do my gelato. And still, none of this stuff smears good on paper. And I don't want to use, I really don't want to use marker. Yes, I could, but I really don't want to. And I really don't want to use marker for this. I guess I could, let's see. I can find that smells. I have this case that I put on top of my markers. And maybe I shouldn't do that. Because that stinks when I opened it up. It was really strong. It's like a big marker kit case. So I have these three colors. Four colors that I'm thinking about using. Because they're kind of the colors I want to use. You guys can see those. And these are my Spectrum Noir markers. You guys don't care about all that. Um, so I'm just going to... And Hey, I'm just going to have fun. And they have this, which I'm not a fan of. Let's see. Okay, I kind of like that. I ain't mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. Um, yeah. I'm a fan. What was I talking about? I feel like I was saying something or at least making a point about something. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, 
But yeah, so in 2019, a couple of things that I'm doing, like I said, starting this PhD program is going to be really time consuming and demanding. And it already is like I've already started just some of the small things that's required before you even get started. And that's been demanding. So it is made up of, I think, 48 classes. Actually, it's with Faulkner University. I don't think I've mentioned that to you guys. But it's made up of 48 classes. And it is a um, three- to five-year program. I'm hopeful that I can complete it in four years. That's the goal. Um, it's going to be costly. So that's one of my biggest um, focus right now is really just figuring out the cost and... Um, you know, that's going to start interfering with my shopping budget. But it's worth it. I've always wanted to get a PhD. Um, this is the perfect timing. You know, the kids are grown. They're adults now. Um, so this is certainly a great time to do that. Um, you know, baby girl is... She's actually ready to start her PhD program, I think, next semester. She finishes up her master's in May. And then she starts her PhD in... Um, I guess September of next year, uh, September or fall of 2019. And uh, so I'm super excited for her um, for that. I think she's going to do amazing. Not I think, I know she's going to do amazing. And um, she was like, we might be graduating the same time. I said, no, I think you're going to finish a little, before, a little earlier than I am, uh, which is cool. And uh, she can help me. <laughs> no, but I, I'm really, you know, I've heard so many people talking about, you know, doing their PhD program and how demanding it is and all that stuff. And, um, of course, I have mentors um, who are already PhDs and, you know, they've given me some great pointers. You know, as I, as I approach the program, they've given me some great pointers and, you know, so I'm, I'm here for it. And... Um, I am poised to be very successful in that area and uh, looking forward to it. Um, so one of the other things I'm realizing too is as I'm working on uh, still this book, you guys, and I'm not even putting a stress or pressure on myself. I, I was originally, but what I'm realizing is that there are going to be other dynamics. Um, and I think this PhD program is a part of that. Um, just to help solidify my focus and all that stuff. And uh, one of the things I know everybody's reading Michelle Obama's Becoming, I actually started reading it, um, but then I had to stop because I didn't want it to influence my writing, uh, which is something that I, I typically do. Like when I'm writing, I don't read other people. Um, and there was one part of her book that was very similar to um, the beginning part of my book. And I think I'm going to do this side, this other backdrop in a little different color. Maybe something a little lighter. See how that looks for me. Um, eh. Do I have to commit? I guess I'll commit. We'll commit, we'll commit. Um, but I think that... Uh, so, uh, so I had to stop reading her book. And I'm taking a new approach for my book. Um, so as I go back and kind of read, <clears throat> excuse me, as I go back and read, you know, some of the chapters that I've already written, um, like I said, the, the content is there. It's just a matter of organizing it, structuring it. Um, but as I go back and read it, uh, I realize there's a lot of rewriting that I want to do. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and I think that's mostly as a result of, of um, you know, my 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 language is changing um not necessarily my views on things actually my views too so for example um as you guys know if you've listened to my program or had a conversation with me uh, one of the things that i that god gave me or if you even came to the conference this year because i think um the coin that we use and i don't have one near me i thought i did but the coin that i gave out this year was uh show grace right yeah it says show grace um, and so that's kind of the posture I've been taking all year is really just trying to extend grace. And what that means is just giving people the space to be who they are. 
without criticism, without judgment, but give people the space to be who they are. And that's been tough because this has been a tough year. Um, and so my initial response was to kind of separate myself, isolate myself. Um, but now I realize that that's not the best thing. That wasn't the best thing. And so now um, I realize that you have to show grace and stay engaged. And uh, you can't, you know, show grace in isolation, right? Um, but still in the same breath establishing boundaries for yourself so just because I'm giving you the space to be who you are and do what you do doesn't mean that I'm going to give you space to be all that and do all that in my space if that makes any sense um so we know that gelatos don't work well on paper I don't know if I knew that before and just forgot or if I never knew that but uh we won't try that again and then I have to decide whether I want to draw color her and I don't think that I really do I think I may go with her lips and I may give her a light pink lip. How about that? How about we do this pink for her lips? We're just going to go for it. It's still darker than I expected, but whatever. Whatever. And the cute thing is I don't even have to color like her whole lip either. Like I can totally just leave some of her lips uncovered. I can totally do that if I want to, but I'm not convinced that I want to. So we're going to go for it. We're going to cover that lip. We're going to give her a pretty pink lip. And then we're going to put some gel on that lip with some gloss so her lips can be popping. I may be doing too much, guys, because I don't even know why I'm doing all this with her lip anyway. Why am I doing all this with her lip? It's not even necessary. It really isn't, so I may just, let me see. I do have this gel pen. I might be doing too much, but we don't go for it. It's like this little, um, it's like a sparkle pen. So, of course, I'm going to try it out here before I, oh, beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Um, just a little sparkle on her lip just to give some texture to that lip, lip gloss. You know, people be putting lip gloss on to make your lips shine. Okay, honey boo. Okay, I see you. I see you. And then I'll decide. Like with her eyebrows, I think instead of like just coloring a dark, chunky eyebrow, and this is where I'm going to have to turn it upside down, guys, because I got to do what I got to do. I can't do this on the camera. But with her eyebrows, I think I'm just going to kind of go, just take my Sharpie and just kind of do some lines. And that's going to kind of help to define her brows. Um, yeah, so this year my thing is show grace, and um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. That's what's kind of defining my, that was kind of like the start of my 2018 was grace. Um, and it's not that I don't show grace any other time, but really just being conscious and aware of showing grace and what that means um, to the people that I'm showing the grace to, you know, grace is important, you know, it really is. And uh, I think we all need it, you know, we all need it. Um, and not, and I, and I can even say that some people need it more than others. No, we all need it. We all need grace. Um, and that's why I'm so grateful for God because he gives us grace. As babe, he's out. Do I need anything while I'm out? Um, no. I'm good. <laughs> My favorite emoji is, I don't know if you guys can see. Is this? Ah, I knew he was going to call. I couldn't text fast enough. Let me pause for a second. So y'all won't be all in my business. I can't pause. Hey, love. I was trying to text you back. You so fast. No, I don't need anything. All right, love you. See you in a second. All right, bye-bye. So, yeah. He'd be like, text me back. <laughs> he probably thought I was away from my phone or something, though. 
Um, so I'm kind of liking her. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, I have some colored pens and I'm going to journal probably in her hair. And I think I'm going to journal with this color right there because I think this pink is going to be too light. So I think that's the color I'm going to journal in her hair with. Or maybe I will do this pink. What do you guys think? I haven't done any swatches with these pens, so it might, it might benefit me to do a swatch or two. Oh, no, I love this. I think I'm going to go with this one. But let's give you a try. Let's give you a swirl. No, we're going to go with this one. Um, and so now, you know, I got the face that I want and all that stuff. And I can go in and color her if I want to, and I might. Um, I don't know. I might. Or I may just use my pencils or my, yeah, my uh, pens. Like, for example, maybe I'll just give her a brown eye. Just using my, just this. You know? That, just something simple. I well, don't do too much. Um, but then I will, so I have like my little rocks, my dream, create, believe. And sometimes those inspire words. So when I do, when I, I'll put the rocks down and this ain't no, this is just something to help trigger my thoughts. Um, but when I put the rock down, when I, when I drop believe, what came to mind is build. And so I'm going to journal about build. And I'm just going to write whatever it, whatever it means to me about building. And I don't even have to write it legibly. Um, and sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll just write it just for me to understand. And I will start. So I'm kind of starting, um, and this is really kind of like a prayer or dedication to myself, and I'll probably uh, continue, but I kind of ran into a, a so when I'm draw, when I'm writing and journaling, I try to just stay in a flow and write when I'm writing. If I think too hard, then I get stuck, and that's what I do, but that's just 
that's what just happened. So I'm going to read it um, probably out loud to you guys and then hopefully it'll trigger me to kind of get back into the flow. So it says, as I build upon the foundations that I've already laid, let me be mindful of the purpose for which God created me. Let me be reminded of all that he has placed inside of me. God has designed me for a purpose. He has made provisions for me so that I might complete my assignment successfully. Everything that I need is already in me. I have the focus I need, the courage I need, the resources I need in every Boom. There we go. <clears throat> so this is a little, this is kind of something that I do. It's like a journal page. And so I said, as I build upon the foundations that I've already laid, let me be mindful of the purpose for which God has created me. Let me be reminded of all that he has placed inside of me. God has designed me for a purpose. He has made provisions for me so that I might complete my assignment successfully. Everything that I need is already in me. I have the focus I need, the courage I need, the resources I need, and every good thing is at my disposal. There is nothing that is too hard for me or my God. There is nothing that is greater than me or my God. As I continue to build, let me be mindful of those who are connected to me, those who God has called me to and called me to, called to me and called me to, those who I have influence over and those who have influence over me. Let me not misuse my gifts, my talents, my resources, or my influence, but let me live with great integrity in every area of my life. I know that God is with me and I and he is for me and he causes me to triumph. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So that is it, guys. That's my thing. I don't think I'm going to color her in. I could. Um, 
but I think this recording has already been much longer than I wanted it to be. I can't really tell, but I think it's been pretty long. Um, so I would probably just kind of, you know, call it a day and sign off here and just, you know, with my uh, signature for Leica. And, uh, and, you know, at another time I might decide to come back and color her, um, color her brown or something. But um, right now I just kind of don't feel like it. <laughs> So, and I didn't realize that this seeks through, so I should have put something behind that page. Guys, um, which is really an easy, could have been an easy fix, just a page behind that page. But whatever, whatever. But that's it, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for drawing and sketching with me this morning. I didn't really chat like I thought I would. Um, I don't know, I guess I can't do both, chat and draw. I thought I could. Um, but prayerfully, I said something that, you know, made you guys... Uh, feel some kind of way good and I'm looking the shoulder is the, the shapes of these shoulders and I'm probably not going to do it on camera and I don't know if you guys can see but it I can see that this is like kind of shaky and then it looks like some of the paint has kind of seeped in so I'm going to definitely go around and make her more bold um, because the background is so bold so I will see but that's what I got this morning guys a uh, real simple uh, sketch and draw with me if I wanted to get really creative, of course, I would have colored her face and um, probably probably put a little makeup around her eyes or something, get her a little cheek color or something, guys. But uh, I think this is it. I don't know that I want to paint or add any acrylics. And a funny thing, usually in this sketchbook I'm looking through now, I think I've used colored pencils at certain point. Uh, I think I just seen, yeah, I use colored pencils here. No, that looks like, yeah, I think I tried to use um, the gelato there. I think I would have remembered that. Because uh, everything else in here is really just pencil. Oh, no, I have a color pencil there. It's, but everything else is mostly like black and white. I did a little color pencil there, which is a mess. And I think that's probably why I decided to just do black and white with everything else. Oh, I did color pencil on her, too. That's not too bad. Anywho, I'm just rambling at this point, and I did some mixed media. All right, okay, okay, all right. All right, okay, okay, all right. And I did some um, acrylics. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I did this technique. Maybe I'll try this technique on her. What did I use? Oh, I know what I use. I use my, in fact, I think I will do that because I really love this technique if you guys can, I don't know if I showed you all, but this was like pen and then I used my, um, my uh, watercolors and then I, instead of using water to activate my watercolors, I actually used um, my gesso, not gesso, my uh, Maj Posh. So I might do that and if you guys remember my little picture. I love the way, I love the way this looks. So I may absolutely just want to just left black and white, but I'm. Alrighty, so I decided that I would uh, do some watercolors. I have like my Maj Posh here. Um, and I have my paintbrush here. And I can't really see, so hopefully you guys have a good good uh, picture. And then I have like some watercolor sticks and I also have some water soluble crayons or wax pastels. And so between these, I should be able to find all the colors that I need or want. Um, to just color her, her, uh, you know, her complexion or whatever. And so I'll probably go with something like those. Sorry. Um, probably do a nice little gentle pink in there. And uh, we might can go with, might can go. So when I'm thinking about her complexion, I may go with like these colors here to kind of work around in this pink would probably be just like some highlights like on her cheeks or whatever. Um, or I might go with, um, this is a color I use a lot when I use this set, only because they don't really have, like, a great skin tone for me, um, in this set. So those are kind of the sticks that I would use. Um, sorry. And then this is kind of usually, like, the pink that I would use just to kind of give her some, um, some color. So between these two sets, I'm going to just kind of color her and uh, create the color that I want. And I'm going to start with this dark brown, and I'm just going to kind of do that around her, just kind of around her shape, right? Just kind of do that around her face because I think she's she's a brown girl. Oops, yeah, she's definitely a brown girl. And I'll just kind of do that in areas that I want to do it. I don't have to do it everywhere. 
um, but I definitely want to do it in the areas where I want to. And sometimes a good place to do it is like around the corners, you know, of a person, because you're usually depending on where the light and how the light is hitting you. And not that I'm going to be paying attention to light and all that stuff, or light and the variations and all that. I don't think I'm going to do all that. But if I was going to, then that's just something that I would keep in mind. Um, so I'll probably start with that color there. Then I would probably do more of this color, like coming out from there. And this is just real simple, guys. This is not anything major. My little Mod Podge, when I open that thing, it pops stuff everywhere. So this is something real simple. I'll just kind of get that going. And ideally, like, I'm going to color her with everything. Like, like, every color is going to be there, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it's always tough to do the cheeks, but I'm just going to do a color like this. Just on the cheeks, just to give some little, you know, the impression of color there. And then, you know, a little bit around the eyes. And I could probably do this better. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do it just the way I did it. Yeah, just something. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'd probably go in with like this really light pinky peachy color. And that'll kind of be the you know, I won't say the final color, but kind of like the color color you know mm -hmm. yeah that would be kind of like my color color and you can color as hard as you want I really like these too I don't know where I got these from and I can't remember what brand and all that stuff they are but they just like watercolor sticks um, but I really like them they're really cool if I want to make her lighter, I would just really be able to kind of go in and, you know, make everything kind of blend a little bit better. And you guys are probably looking like, that looks a mess. I don't know what it looks like for you guys. Oops. Just got to pay attention. I made that too dark. I don't know what it looks like for you guys, but, um, so I would just go with something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, I would just go with something like that. Um, and I would decide whether or not I want to put anything in her hair. And I don't think that I do. But if I did, I would probably just go with the white. Which would probably be totally not worth it. Um, because I want to make sure I don't cover, like, the lettering. And so I have to find some place where to... And it doesn't, so that's a good look. So I would just probably just take a white... And hopefully, now this is going to be the challenge, guys. And maybe I shouldn't do that because I don't know. I don't know if this color is, if the ink from the pen, I don't know if that would smear. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this white and I'm going to color it. But I'm not going to do the Mod Podge over because I don't know if that will smear the words that's already there. But I like this white because it takes the brightness off of the ink a little bit, which is cool. It gives it a little more um, warm look, which I appreciate. I'm not mad at that. And the babe is just coming back in. Yeah, so I like that. I like the look of that. But I'm not going to do the Mod Podge over it because I just don't know how it's going to work. And then I'll do her eyes. Even though your eyes aren't really white. But we'll just go with it. And then I'm going to show you guys, um, I'll probably finish the, I mean, it's pretty, pretty much finished. But if I have to do any touch-ups or whatever. Um, so then what I'll do is I'll just take my Mod Podge. And I think I colored everything that I wanted to color. So I'll take my Mod Podge and just kind of dip my brush in here. And I'll just, I'll start down here because this is a little less unassuming. But you see how the liquid from the Mod Podge is activating the ink? 
So that's really what you that's what you really want to do is just activate the ink. You see that? From the Mosh Posh. And it gives it the color, it blends the colors, which I love. This is a really cool technique of just that I love. Um, so just do that there. I'm in my um, office. And then um, I'm recording too. Oh, you don't want to leave me alone. You black and you proud? Black and I'm proud. I told you I'm recording. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. See? But that's cool to record. No, not if I'm talking about art. Okay. No matter if I'm black and I'm proud, I'm talking about art. I love you. Love you. That sounds so fake. Love you. <laughs> love you, babe. Sorry guys. Um, and so then I just kind of come in. And you guys can see how like with the Sharpie how it doesn't smear. That's like incredible to me guys. Incredible. And what I love too is like even the makeup. You guys see how when I put that pink on there you probably was thinking ooh that look a mess. But once you store it. Um, oops where did that come from? Once you start, um, you know, just painting over it, it all comes together nicely, I, I might add. And it gives it almost like a cartoon look, which I always love. Um, I just love that look, period. <gasps> what is smearing? Ooh, so that, that, that uh, what you call them, does smear. I cleaned it up, but I don't know if you guys caught it. But remember, I was like, what is smearing? Um, but remember, I did her eyes with that pen. So when I came down that way, it did smear. Um, so that's something to be aware of. That's why I'm glad I didn't do that up there. And that's pretty much it. I think her colors is, um, they're popping. And then once this dries, I would probably kind of go in. <clears throat> this is why you call it mixed media art because you're mixing all kind of, you know, media or all kind of, um, you know, art products. And so then I would go in and use my pit pens, but I'm not gonna do anything until this dry. And once I use my pit pens, I'll kind of go in and add more, like I'll probably, you know, add more pop to her lips or her eyes. Um, and I don't wanna do it now because I think it's still pretty wet. You know, but I would do something like, you know, even with her eyes, I would probably, I wanna do it if it's still wet, guys. I would probably just kind of go in and you know, fix that. So, something, just something like that. Nothing major, just fix her lashes and all. You know, I'm irritated because I made her eyes too dark around there, but whatever. But just stuff like that. Then another thing I like to do with my pit pen, and I can't really do it again because it's still wet. And just let it dry. I'll try it right here. One other thing is like, I'll just make a black brown right there and then kind of smear it. Um, just to help give some like here. I don't know if you see that or if it even makes sense to you guys, but that's another thing I would kind of do. But I need to just let her dry completely before I start, you know, doing anything else. But in any case, I really like it. I love uh, the picture. I love the way it came out. And if I decide to go back in and do anything else, it'll be very minor stuff. Um, very minor. But I would probably kind of go back in and pull out um, like the, you know, how I did the trimming around here. I would probably do more of that. And because I put, um, because I put that there, I would probably, it's not it's totally unnecessary. And, um, but I'll probably do something like this. It's almost like a, like when you paint and you have to put some, uh, and I never put mixed media art on my page, but, and not mixed media, or I don't even know if this match, but I will if I can figure out how to open it. I gotta get to the, 
Got to get to, here we go. And this is just something real simple because when I was doing a marker, it got over there. So this will probably be just something simple that I would put on to just decorate that. Oh, damn. Boo yow. Boo yow. Boo yow. <laughs> Alright, that's it guys. Um yeah, that's just a little strip of tape just to you know, cover the fact that when I was doing a marker over here, it got on that page. So that's is all. That's all I got. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. And um, yeah, if I do anything more, I'll probably, you know, show a final product. But I think this is it for now. So thanks, guys. Until next time. Blessings.